so there is this now, huh? Mmm, look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this. So yeah, this dropped out of nowhere, huh? I don't think anyone was really expecting us to get a, like a pre cam, like a pre release banner for 6.5, let alone a limited five star. But there he is, Constantine, eleventh. I think I've only seen his MP so far, so I'm kind of excited to see this. Now, spoiler: the MP is a supportive type, which is kind of cool. So another supporting rider. Is an interesting thing indeed. Um, let's go. See what he's made of. So sadly, because <laughs> I don't have great ways of eating my units, uh, Araj will have to MP the first wave. It is what it is, but... Oh well. So we'll, we're, we're, we'll get back once wave 2 starts. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what Michael can do. First of all, skill check. I don't actually know what his skills do, so this is pretty exciting every time. Self MP gain up one turn, okay. And a taunt, okay. One turn and a star bomb. Hmm. That's from a six turn cooldown. Hmm. Okay, um. Hmm. Unless the MP gain is massive and the star bomb is huge, I don't know. For a six turn cooldown? Mixed opinions so far. Let me actually pull him up. I'll look at I'll look at this stuff at the same time here. I won't skip ahead. I'll just want to see numbers here. So it's up to 50% MP gain, huh? That's not bad, honestly. I wish it wasn't one turn, but it, it's not terrible at least. And then at up to 20 star bomb, huh? May, maybe I'll change my mind about this skill when I see the rest of his kits, because I know it kind of work. It definitely works with the MP, if, which is the only thing I've seen. So. Maybe it's not that bad, but man, that is a lot of downtime, though, is the, is the one thing I immediately recognize. It is a lot of downtime. It's a five-turn downtime, which, that's a lot. Anyway, let's check out skill number two. So, it's kind of a charisma, I guess. All allies attack up three turns. And buster effectiveness up three turns, okay. And for Roma allies, also critical damage three turns. Now, this is also on a six turn cooldown. Now, let's look at the numbers. Is it really good? 20% attack, very standard for a charisma. 20% buster. I kind of wish it was 30 on a six turn, but not bad. And then 30% crit damage. When I kind of feel like it should be 50 when it's only on Roman allies. I don't know. Or just, like, with either keep the values like this and it should be a 5 turn cooldown? Or make it 50% on the crit damage and keep the 6 turn cooldown? That's what I'm feeling. At least, again, who knows? Maybe it's still good. Because, again, it, it, there's a lot of factors to take into here. But also another thing to consider, there's not a lot of Roman traits. Yeah, he himself has it, right? Makes sense. So it's a bit more value. It's an at least guaranteed some value. It's not a waste. It's never a waste. Yeah, for now, I don't love this skill either. I don't hate it. For one, I do like the trio of effects, though. It's good. Attack, buster, crit damage. So at least it has that going. It's a very nice trio of effects, okay? Not the best in value, though. And then the third skill. What do we got? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so it's a self-battery, first of all. Ooh. Self-crit damage, three turns. So he himself, seemingly, is gonna be some kind of a crit dps option even with a support mp probably because he has a buster buff there as well right every turn gets stars for three turns cool i like the synergy with the crits and what do we got oh she, oh it's one of these activate on death right <clears throat> okay so wait he it's a battery charge on death which charges the last ally Okay, so it's uh, like a placement matters for this one, huh? Okay. And also they get they the the target also gets a 3 turn crit damage buff and stars per turn for 3 turns. So they wait, so it's a thing he does for himself and when he dies the uh, the ally furthest to the right, which which I guess it is supposed to be, gets the same effects. And other, they're exactly the same effects. I'm looking at the values right now. Okay. So it's the skill repeats itself if he dies to another ally. Interesting. So it's also a six turn cooldown. 
So what do you get? It's a 30% battery on use, 30% crit damage 3 turns, 10 stars per turn for 3 turns. And then when he dies, an ally gets the same thing. There can be some... I feel like there can be some setups to make this work. But I'm not sure how worth it's gonna be. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not sure. But I, th I think it, there might be some setups that could involve this, like, uh, gong ammo, basically, right? I'm, I'm looking at his passives online, because I can't check them in-game. So what does he have? Writing B, okay, Magic Rest B+, plus, or b both B+, plus, and Independent Action C+. Plus. So very basic. Nothing to really go crazy about on his passives either, to be honest. And he only has one quick card as well. Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's take a look at his MP as well. Which is the one thing I kind of looked up beforehand. So it is a supporting MP, not a damaging one. First of all, self buster up for three turns. So there's the, you know, the offensive side of it, basically. Also gives self a one-time, one-turn envil. Kinda wish it was just flat out one turn, but I guess, you know, there is some incentive to get him killed anyway, so... Again, I have a bit of mixed feelings about that, to be honest. And then after that, here come the uh, AoE buffs, so basically all allies get a lot of defense up for one turn. Now, it's a lot. Because I looked this up beforehand as well. It is a base... Oh, this one scales with OC. It is a base 100% defense up for your whole team for one turn and also a bonus normal effect if you're uh, for roman allies including himself remember because he's roman um for one turn they get a five thousand damage cut so what that means is that if you get hit by something that's not an mp you're probably going to take zero damage chances are Coupled with the defense up as well, unless they have ignore defense, which doesn't work for ignore, uh, a damage cut, by the way. So that's still a great thing to have. Hmm. Yeah. So with this, you, if the setup is correct and the enemy doesn't have like ignore defense, you could tank an MP, right? You could absolutely tank an MP with this team wide, which I like honestly, because it's not like he needs a ton of OC to make it work anyway. A lot of the times, the base hundred percent might be enough to begin with. I feel like his kid ha has the synergy to make sense, right? But I get the feeling that it's still very mixed. Because he's both a, like a, a tank with great team protection and utility for damage as well. But at the same time, he wants to be kind of a DPS himself. But then he has incentives to die too, which is obviously what any DPS doesn't want. Is kind of weird, right? I get, I'm sure he's not terrible at the very least, but I, I can't tell for sure how good he's gonna be yet, because it, this will need a lot of experimentation. The first skill is still off to me, I don't know. It shouldn't be a 6 turn cooldown, right? It shouldn't be, it just shouldn't be. I don't like that it's a 6 turn cooldown. I do like what he has on table though, but... Mm. Animations though, hops on the horse as any rider would, <laughs> so you would think. Alright, you know what, let's take a look at some gains. I'm interested about this to be honest, so with this 50%, what kind of numbers are we gonna see? So if I like do an MP arts arts here, what kind of numbers are we gonna be seeing? Let's see, oh yeah this MP looks amazing by the way. This is an amazing looking MP. Like, they, it's 10 out of 10, basically. Like, you gotta admit, that's just, that, that's just amazing. So at least he's got that going for him. All right, let's see some numbers. 39 on crit. 70% non-crit total. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Let's see what kind of star gen he has with like a combo like this. Also with the stars per turn active. He has one quick, so he's probably not going to be amazing as a whole. He's just a standard rider deck, right? 18 on base, then plus the uh, whatever, 6-7 I'm going to get from this rank. Yeah, the star gen is not that good. You would probably like the Stargen to be a, lot, a little bit better because he's supposed to be like um, 
Crit support and crit DPS himself too. So it, it would be nicer if he was a bit more self-sufficient. But if you're going to run him, he's not going to be your only support. Right? He definitely, he's definitely not going to be your only support. You're going to cu couple him with someone else. Preferably someone who has crit focus for supporting too. For instance, Hans. I feel like Hans, honestly, would be a great combo with him. Alright, let's do the MP again. This time without the uh, MP gain active. And see what kind of numbers we're looking at here on this last guy. Let's see. No crit there, and then crit there. I mean, honestly, it's still pretty good. Like, he's not god tier, but I feel like his gains at least are pretty good. I mean, yes, he has a buster MP, so it limits the follow up a little bit, but still, those two arts cards that he has, they're pretty good. He's an interesting guy. I do like him. I don't know how amazing he is yet, though, because again, well, hopefully I get him first of all, so I can experiment more with some future teams and uh, harder quests than this, because this is obviously a joke. A lot of people were saying like five star George, right? Which honestly might not be that far from the truth. Definitely some mixed feelings, though. So I guess I'll leave it at that. Maybe if this is a first impressions video on YouTube, I don't know. L leave a comment below on what you think about Constantine, if you're rolling for him. Or whatever. Any, anything else you want to say about him. But uh, yeah, I'm, I like him first of all. I already like him a lot because of the MP. But um, besides that, hopefully I get him. Which I guess we are going to find out right after this. Although if this comes out on YouTube, this video probably comes after the roll. So the timeline is a bit skewed. And also you're going to be seeing other highlights from today as well. On later days, I have a feeling. So <laughs> apologies for that. But uh, leave a like on this video if this ends up being on YouTube as well. Subscribe for more. And uh, good luck if you're rolling for him. And otherwise, uh, have a good rest of your day. Peace out.